Dan versus Uther. Then it's up against the Paladin. Of these cards, the only thing I want to keep is the egg. White Walker Egg Gang Boss. Or I have the coin as well. Arts and Square, okay, so this is the This is the newer list of the secret paladin that doesn't run consecration. This is going to be the newer list without consecration. Now I don't want the eggs out. Do I want to take the shield down? Then he can kill the void. Walk next turn, but I think leaving that shield up is too much of a risk. Yeah, this is this is the newer list, newer secret paladin list. If that's Noble Sack and Avenge, that's pretty rough. Could be redeem could be repentance. What do I want to play into repentance? I'll first check for check for Noble Sack. There's no Noble Sack. Do I still want to play the gang boss even if it's repentance? I don't want to risk it. I'll play the egg. And it wasn't repentance either. So it's avenge and redemption. So that's avenge and redemption. Maybe should have just played the gang boss. Now the egg, egg is just so weak now. There was no repentance after all. Okay, with the true silver he's able to clear. Yeah, if I had the gang boss up now it would have been so much stronger. But playing a 2-1 gang boss just felt so so weak. Didn't feel like what I want. I still don't want to kill this. It's still there's still going to be another spider if I kill that. I can silence something off, but I can silence something off, but I don't want to give him another spider. Well, I don't want to give him a shield mini but either. I would like to he give him like a silver hand recruit. Totem golem. That's that's a great pick. Do I want to silence something here? No, not really. I'll play the eggs next to each other in case I draw void terror. That would be awesome. And I still don't want to trade into anything here, so I just want to go face. And now if he drops a mysterious challenger, that's a bit of a problem, but he also doesn't get two of the secrets. Because those are still in play. Okay, now a ton of secrets. So there's probably Noble Sack. There's Avenge. But I have a Silence and a Big Game Hunter in my hand. So I'm willing to check out what he has. That's a noble sack, then it's going to trigger an avenge and a redemption. And 
depending on what the Avenge hits, that's probably the worst one. That is probably the worst one. I would have liked to get a good silence target. Now I didn't. I'm going to have to kill that. And silence that one and play a void call. Yeah. And that's still a bit short from being a BGH dog. It's really too bad. If I draw like a Void Terror to activate the eggs, that would be huge. But other than that, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. An Abusive Sergeant can activate one of the eggs. If I had something else to take the shield down, then I could run the Void Caller into the 5 5 without the shield, so I'm going to tap here I get a Maganis but I won't be able to kill the 5 5, that's the problem so I don't want to get Malganis out just yet I can take down the shield on the 5 5 I guess I can kill a 2 1. Play out another Void Caller. Now, one of these is a bluff. One of these is a bluff, but. That's cool. Anyway, once one of them dies, Malganis comes out and the other Void Caller becomes a 5 5 6 as well. So still, if he sequences this wrong, no, Tyrion, no, no, not Tyrion, not Tyrion. Does this mean that I will lose the game? Not necessarily. I can power overwhelm. One of the Void Callers. I can use the Nerubian. Or I could Power Overwhelm the Egg. Pop Shield. Kill Tyrion. Kill the 5 5. Power Overwhelm the Egg. Pop Shield. Kill Tyrion. Kill 5-5. Five, five. Tap for free. Argus up everything but Malganis. Now oh, I don't have a demon coming out. That's bad, but tolerable at this point. And I have BGH for the boom. I have BGH for the boom. Do I need the BGH for the boom or can I have lethal? I'm four short. I'm four short of lethal. Doom guard away, doom guard away. It's doom guard away from lethal, but that's not happening right now, so it's going to be it's going to be juggler. I want to attack both of these to face first. It's an eye for an eye. Well, that didn't matter that much. Then I will play Juggler. 
into Void Walker. I should have played BGH first. That was a small error. Into BGH. And it looks like this is how you win a Paladin. I don't see a comeback. Thank you for watching. For more action, please visit my YouTube channel. And if you like what you see, remember to subscribe.